what is up you guys glitch is here coming at you with a new century age of ashes video now for those of you who have yet to hear anything about this game century age of ashes is a free-to-play multiplayer dragon battle game created by the developer playwing you will master a growing roster of classes and dragons compete in intense arena style battles and rule the skies in fast-paced aerial combat now if you're quick enough Steam is allowing players to gain instant access to the current closed beta test. All you need to do is log into Steam and search Century Age of Ashes, and the link should be in the lower options of the game's store page. Now you're probably wondering what sort of things you'll have access to within the beta and beyond. For starters, the current beta test gives players access to two main game modes, Carnage, which is your typical 6v6 style team deathmatch where players will fly around gathering shields and buffs while trying to slay as many enemies as possible before the round timer ends. The other available game mode is Gates of Fire, which is a cool fast paced capture the flag style game type where your team has to try and snag the flag and fly it through a series of gates. The first team to complete a full lap through all eight gates first wins the round. Other game modes available in the beta include a tutorial style rookie mode that slowly unlocks one perk at a time each round to help new dragon riders master the skies a bit more easily. And a free to fly mode as well that allows you to practice maneuvers without the threat of other players. Lastly, a third main game mode called survival has also been announced, but isn't available in the current beta. Survival is a three teams battle, last team standing wins, and the only way that you can revive yourself is if your allies pick up your soul upon dying and bring it back to your team's base camp. I expect more game types, maps, and classes will be available upon the full release. Now, speaking of classes, the early access version has three playable classes that you can choose from, all with a distinct power, as well as two additional abilities that you can choose between depending on your strategy. The Phantom can cloak in an instant to escape a chase or set up a nice kill, and you can use the Phantom's Blast ability to disrupt an enemy's movement or set up an explosive trap with the mine. The Wind Guard shields their teammates from harm by rushing to their side. They can use the Blast to disrupt enemy movement or deploy poisonous smoke trails to drive off foes and cover a tactical retreat. Lastly, the Marauder class marks and tracks down their fleeing enemies. Use the Marauder's Gust ability to escape enemy projectiles or numb your prey with impairing frost bolts. Now, as I mentioned previously, this game is free to play, and no free play game is complete without some sort of in game progression system and cosmetic store. By the looks of it, we'll have access to two types of currency gold and gems, both of which can be earned for free simply by playing the game. Bonus rewards can be earned through the in game reward track as well. There's currently 100 levels to the rewards track, and after hitting level 100, there's also a prestige or renown system to grant you even more flair to your player badge, so there's already plenty to grind for. As for the in-game store, there seems to be a rotating featured cosmetic selection as well as a daily offer and limited time bundles option. These store items can be purchased with either gold, gems, or sometimes both, and the cosmetic lineup is pretty extensive. You can customize things ranging from the weapons and armor your rider wears to the armor and saddles your dragon wears, as well as custom banners, player icons, titles, and most notably, dragon eggs. Throughout the progression process or through the in-game store, you can snag yourself unique dragon eggs. These eggs, when given enough experience, will hatch into a new usable dragon for one of your unique classes. They range in rarity, but all look pretty cool. The way you give your dragon egg experience is by equipping the egg in your hatching menu, and once equipped, 50% of your experience gained from matches will go to your player character, while the other 50% will go towards hatching your egg. Once your experience bar is full, your egg will hatch, and you'll gain access to a new dragon option for that specific class. Now, all in all, I've been having a ton of fun with this game, and I highly recommend everyone check it out. Lastly, if you guys want to see more Century Age of Ashes on your news feeds, and be sure to hit that subscribe button and share this video with friends. It's completely free to you and it really helps support the channel. That being said, I hope you guys had a great day and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.
Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you're looking to join a killer community of like-minded gamers, then be sure to click the link in the description and join the Glitch Gang Discord server. We continue to grow every day and it's filled with all your favorite game discussion channels as well as several LFG channels to help you find that perfect group for your next hunt or raid. Lastly, if you're new to the channel and want to keep up to date with all my future content, then consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Hope you all had a great day and I will catch you on the next one.